Lopez here on Brooks Stadium in Conway, South Carolina, as Coastal Carolina ranked for the very first time in program history. Georgia Southern trying to upset the only undefeated team in the Sun Belt. Fair catch is called for. And so we'll get to see Georgia Southern trot out there for the very first time to start things off. He'll stack three guys behind him. It's J.D. King, Bo Johnson, the tight end in the middle, and behind him is Wesley Kennedy the third. Johnson moves out. They stick it in the gut of J.D. King. Picks up a couple of yards, takes it to about the 27. Love the one-two punch between J.D. King and Wesley Kennedy. It's J.D. King is the back this time. And there's going to be a little movement there for Georgia Southern. Caught on number 61, Drew Wilson. Not the position you want to be in. Word says King to his right, two receivers at the top of your screen. He pulls it out and he's going to throw. And the receiver he was looking for was Malik Murray. He was taken down. And that's Flax coming in, pass interference, I'm assuming. Yeah, good call by the officials. He's trying to run a little skinny. Yes. 43, Enoch Picanzo. Number 41. This will be a spot foul, an automatic first down. 31 to nothing. And they threw the ball a lot. I mean, Shai Wirtz was 12 to 17, so they've been working on delivering the ball downfield more and more. Worst thought this time gives it up to Logan Wright, who shoots up the middle. You know, and he's not flashy. He's a hard-nosed kid that just goes out there, plays, makes catches. Shy words on the option look, pitches it out to Wesley Kennedy, the third. It's past the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Third down coming up. That's a good job. They've seen this in practice. Two wide receivers to the near side. Kennedy is the tailback. And here goes Shai Wirtz on the option look again. This time we'll keep it. Taken down at the 40 short of that first down. Yeah, turned those shoulders up. Thought he was going to get there. Nice job by the defense to come up and make. For Georgia Southern, Javon Hiley is back to receive for Coastal. Beautiful punt coming from Beck the third. And Hiley will call for the fair catch. They'll start things up on their own 19 yard line. CJ Marable is the tailback, number one in white as they work out of the pistol here. They'll pull it and throw it out looking for Javon Hiley and the pass is incomplete. How many times, Rainey, have you- Chance to sit McCall and make sure he heals up correctly. Peyton will- Signal Marable to move. Option look for Coastal Carolina. It's C.J. Marable carrying it. Gains maybe a team in the nation. They only give up about 19 points per game. Two wide receivers on either side for Fred Payton. Looking to throw, looking out to Cameron Brown. Let's show you another look here. Remember, one foot in college football. Yeah, and to me, he had that foot down. I know what replay's looking at. Was the ball secured? Uh, you know, I don't see a bobble there, Courtney. Brings it into his body. Remember, the call on the field was a completed catch. There's nothing there that's going to reverse this call. This call's going to stand. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Catch. So the first town will stay. Talked about the good offense and good defense. Coastal is second in the Sun Belt in points per game, whereas Georgia Southern's defense first in points allowed per game. So the, the proverbial something's got to get today. Right. That's going to be the same story in time of possession because both of these teams are top eight in the nation. Georgia Southern is first in the nation in time. I think in the Sun Belt to, to make a splash. Fred Payton keeps it. Gets back to the original today. Yeah, ironically, it was Bryce Carpenter last year who played and every snap in this game against Georgia Southern because Fred Payton was out with an injury. Oh, 
Wiseman. This is a spot where you want to watch number four, Isaiah Likely, their big tight end. And Fred Payton's looking for him. He got caught up there in the defense. Payton going the other way, throwing on the move. What a play. And Mark puts it on him, but looks like we're going to have a penalty. It'll oh, no. nullify it. On the offense, number 72. 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay, third down. That's Antoine Loper, the left tackle, called for holding. Yeah. The biggest guy on that offensive line, so he sticks yeah. out. Marable moves over to Peyton's left. Peyton looking downfield, pass incomplete. Javon Hiley was sliding down as the pass went behind him. Yeah. For Georgia Southern. Fair catch called for at the 37-yard line. Evidence. Georgia Southern was forced to punt on its opening drive. Bo Johnson will step off, and they send Malik Murray in motion. The handoff is to J.D. King. Falls forward to the 41-yard line. Second down coming. Kelly and Gallagher, the mullet brothers in there. I was going to say, it's all because of the mullet, right? It's, I think it gives you superpowers, <laughs> or linebacker powers at least. Wirtz dropping back and looking to his right, trying to connect with Darion Anderson on the play, and that is dropped. And that's where you just got to help your quarterback out. He puts it on you. And in there behind Wirtz in the pistol. Two wide receivers to either side. Kennedy makes a shift over to the left. And Wirtz pulls it. Big stop right there for Copen at punter that Chad Lunsford calls him. Javon Hiley is back to receive for Coastal. Hiley rushes up and is pulled down at about the 29-yard line. Punter did a little, tried to get a little bit of an active job on that one. Hit, hit the deck pretty hard, but no, he's going to be fine. And, and I think again that played into Jamie Chadwell's decision to sit Grayson McCall in this game. C.J. Marable gets the call, taken down behind the line. Over his time with Coastal, he's not just get outside and get around on the perimeter. He can go upfield now. Coming off a of play action, Peyton drops back. Nobody is on him. Wow! Sam Denmark go all the way. A 72-yard touchdown. Sit in there, and boy, Sam Denmark, the speedster, gets lost in the slot. And just like that, a quick score for the shot to clears. Massimo Biscardi on to attempt the PAT, and it is good. What an Those deep routes, you need that time back there in the pocket. That offensive line gave him the time. Wesley Kennedy, the third, is going to take it out of the end zone for Georgia Southern. And he gets past the 20-yard line. They'll start inside the 25. Dedicated on, on big strike plays, and we talked to him. They want eight explosives a, day, a, a game. That's 12-yard runs or more, 15-yard passes or more. That's what the, this offense lives on. So they need some explosives themselves. They pitch it out to Wesley Kennedy. Can't get any room on the edge as the defense. Be an emotional day. He is undefeated at 28 and 0. Two wide receivers on either side for Shy Wirtz. He'll look to throw it, and it's intercepted! Taken away by Coastal Cat. Gives great field position to Fred Payton and the Chanticleer offense. Throwing over the middle, picked off! Right back at it, Rashad Bird leapt up in the air for Georgia Southern. And a huge play because, you know, you have that change of possession. They were going for it. They were going to try to get it in the end zone was Coastal. But Rashad Bird, all six foot, 230 of them, right in the middle of the screen. He's going to time this perfectly, go up. Not only does he not knock it down, he intercepts the ball. So a huge play for that Georgia Southern defense. Bird, a second team all Sun Belt selection. Last year had two interceptions. This would be his first of the season. Just 
Shywerts looking way downfield. Emil Smith just overthrew him. Second and 10 coming for Georgia Southern. J.D. King and Kennedy back there. And they go on the option look. Look at Shy Words. He's got room to run. Tripped up finally around their own 41 yard line. J.D. Kennedy up the middle. They'll mark him at the 43. J.D. King again, look at him, powering his way up the middle of the field. On third and short. Georgia Southern 0 for 2 on third down today, usually converting at 54%. J.D. King again. Can he make his way forward? Oh, I think this is going to be short, about a yard short. Gerard Clark was there. In Leave that defense out there, and you're just watching for it. Anthony Beck is the one back there. Trying to see if they can get any movement from that coastal defense. Beck runs up under center. Yeah, they're trying to get him to jump off sides. And they're going to take a delay of game. Beck judge, the, the clock was at zero for about three seconds. The back judge didn't look at the play clock. Belair, Belair game, kicking team. Five yard penalty, remain fourth down. So back now in a true punt formation as Javon Hiley back to field it for Coastal. Fair catch called for. The 98th version they first played for the Jug back in 1903. You can see it at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific on ABC and the ESPN app. Coastal back on offense, ball comes loose. Chanticleer's line out of a lot of things. He's super talented. Does a lot of things. He does a lot of things really well. That handoff much cleaner, but the Georgia Southern defense. And they drive you off on those run plays, but Georgia Southern, Southern is doing a nice job up front. Third and 12 for the Chanticleer's. Peyton in trouble, just eaten up. What a day Rashad Bird is having. An interception and a sack. And one of the team captains, and that's only the third sack. Charles Overson on to punt for Coastal. Wesley Kennedy the third back for the Eagles. Overson with a monster punt, and it's bobbled by Kennedy. Still room to run forward. Takes it inside the 40-yard line in Coastal Territory, still going on that far sideline. Wesley Kennedy, the third, a punt return for a touchdown. You know, I talked to you yesterday, Courtney. Unbelievable return by Wesley Kennedy. Alex Rayner on to attempt the PAT. And remember, Wesley Kennedy had the game-winning touchdown in that triple overtime game between these two teams last year. So you might say to yourself, it's a, it's a high, deep punt. Why isn't he fair catching it? But the rule allows you to catch the ball without getting hit anyway. So a little bit of a bobble, but he's going to split three, four defenders from Coastal and then just an exceptional athlete, great vision. Great speed and his ability to stop on a dime. And then he picks up some nice blocks down the right sideline. So a huge special teams play in this game by Wesley Kennedy. Just an exceptional job and, and, and a good job for Georgia Southern not blocking anyone in, a, in the back. Because a lot of times on punt returns like that where the returner's dodging and he's cutting back and forth, jumping inside and out, you inevitably get a block in the back. Good job. Every single time you touch the football, that is huge in this game. We're two teams who like to dominate time of possession. Yeah, whenever you can get a big special teams play like that, it is a bonus. Alex Rayner to kick things off. How will Coastal respond? They let this one bounce. CJ Marable scoops it up. Tripped up around Ohio State, Nebraska. Who you got in that one? Well, I got Ohio State, but I, I'm fascinated in that one to see uh, 
how well Nebraska can play. Here. Very dependable, this is what the coaches told us about Greg. Reese White gets the call this time for Coastal. Right up the middle he goes past the 40-yard line. Though. Experienced. He's got a lot of starts in his, under his belt. I just think he needs to get the cobwebs off, being that this is his first start of this season. Yeah, six starts last year, missed a couple of games due to injury. Georgia Southern was one of those games he missed. And Georgia Southern's defense says hello. It's a line of Georgia Southern getting after it today. Third and nine. Two wide receivers stacked on either side for Fred Wright. The pocket collapsing on him. I thought he was going to try to throw it away there for a second. Point of attack. Now remember this Georgia Southern defense only gives up 19 points per game. Fair catch called for this time. In part by Peloton. Millions of reasons. One community. Tie ball game here in Conway, South Carolina. Courtney Lyle, Rini and Golia with you. A fun first quarter. And now here goes Georgia Southern again. Shy Wirtz off of play action. Connects over the middle to Caleb Hood. Those are the first passing yards for Georgia Southern today. Yeah, and I believe that was spilling the safety to try to jump that route as well. But as well. First down starting at the 32-yard line. On the move is Wirtz. Second and four coming. Logan Wright is the running back. Two wide receivers to the near side. Wirtz in trouble. He's got a defender in his face, and there's a flag down. It open on that play. Over on the offense, number 72. That penalty is declined. Third down. And that's how quick the Third and long. Works in trouble again. Pound. Anthony Beck bowed up back out on the field. Javon Hiley will field it for Coastal, and he calls for the fair catch. And the defender runs into him. Yeah, and he, he slid in. Finally catch a pass from Tom Brady. We'll see. It, it could happen this year. The journeyman. Fred Payton looking deep right over the middle, and he's got a wide open receiver. Guess who? Javon Hiley. Fever for this Coastal Carolina crew. First and goal for the Chanticleers. CJ Marable goes and gets stuffed by Georgia Southern. That's Downs. phenomenal. Yeah, those 17 touchdowns really leap off the page. Second and goal now. Peyton rolling out to his right. Receiver all covered up. Yeah, that's going to be pass interference. And that's just highly working really hard out there. Jersey. And it had good coverage initially. I mean, that rollout. Defense, pass interference, number 13. The ball be placed at the two-yard line. First and goal. I mean, I was going to two. Huge break for Coastal. Marable lines up behind Peyton. They give it to him. Tries to shoot up the middle. Pulls it from Marable. Throws over the top and connects to Cameron Brown in the back. Massimo Biscardi, the hero from last week, on to attempt. Gets the PAT to go through. 59-yard drive for the shot seven. But when we talked to Coach Chadwell, he said that gave them some confidence to come into this game today. Yeah, that was a great college football game. And there's Wesley Kennedy, the third. He's already had a punt return for a touchdown today. He was so big for Chad Lundford's crew last year. And just getting back to Coastal for a second. Georgia Southern has won the last two meetings with Coastal. Down seven here early, still early in this one. Shy Wirtz with a back on either side. And he will toss it out to Wesley Kennedy, the third. Turn it upfield. Some room to run on that sideline. All Sunbelt selection out of Savannah, Georgia for this Georgia Southern crew. 
This time J.D. King is in the back and he will get the call with the spin. It might be just enough, maybe a yard past 48 hours. Yeah. That's what the coaching staff told us. I don't know of a player that's done that before. Wow. Words with plenty of time over the middle, looking for his favorite target this year, Malik Murray, incomplete. Option look for Shy Words. He will keep it, the ball comes out. And JD King is there to grab it. Georgia Southern taking a sigh of relief. Thank goodness JD King was right there as the ball popped out. There's no foul on the play. The bing bag was thrown and the flag fell out. First and 10. Yeah, good explanation by the official because you saw the flag fall. He meant to throw the bean bag to mark where the ball was. First and 10 from the 50 for Georgia Southern. King's got it. Nice pickup of about second and three coming for the Eagles. We're just going to change things up. Keeps it. And he is thrown down, and there is a penalty coming. Yeah, it's going foul. Horse call, defense, 94. 15 yards from the end of the run. Quadruple eye look for Georgia Southern. The old full house, we yeah. call that. <laughs> it's King Johnson and LaRoche. And this is JD King. Wow, just forced backwards as Coastal's defense swarmed. Yeah, and I, I tell you, Georgia Southern is doing a a big job. I mean, they're yards averaging about 4.8 yards per carry today. This time, works going to the air, looking downfield for Wesley Kennedy. Just overthrows him today. They've got third and eight from the 26. Works looking to his left. J.D. King, he connects with them, taken down at the 25. What field goal for Alex Rayner. And it is no good. The team's out of the Sun Belt. Look at Nebraska, Ohio State. Oh, yeah, Are also. <laughs> by the way. By the way, sorry. And that's almost half. I, that's crazy. Fun to have the Big Ten back this weekend. Fred Payton getting the start over Grayson McCall. McCall out with that shoulder injury. CJ Marable picks up a yard. It's normally 57% on third down conversions, which is phenomenal. Payton looking for some help. Tosses it over to Javon Hot. Got to get off the field. You give up the first down, that's tough. Keeps the drive alive for Coastal, though. Coastal at their own 35. CJ Marable, look at the room for him to run. First down, Shanta clears, and a little scuffle going on right at midfield. First and 10 from their own 48. Peyton working out of the pistol. Will pull it, and he sees the pressure coming at him. Wow, didn't have much time at all. Dynamic in there this week without Grayson McCall playing, who's been electrifying the beginning of his young career here. He did try to go. He threw around 10.30 this morning, but McCall not able to play today for Coastal. Fred Payton on the move, intercepted. Derek Canteen. It's going to be Georgia Southern ball. Yeah. Group for Georgia Southern. He's just a redshirt freshman. Yeah, and so and, and if you're Sam Denmark, 217, you got to work back towards your quarterback by not working back 
towards him. It lets the corner canteen come and undercut it. And as you said, a redshirt freshman, and the coach said he has grown up quickly this year, um, getting really good game reps in and, and playing well. Great interception there. Yeah, and that is his second of the season. Oh, my goodness. Southern quickly back to work. There's a hole for Wirtz to work. Trying to cut to the outside. Shy Wirtz and you after giving up that sack. Wirtz connecting with Caleb Hood for the first down. Makonzo, he's okay. Looks okay anyway on the sideline. So hopefully he'll be back in this one. He was injured in the second game last season, but back this year for Coastal. Yeah, torn ACL last year. Nice job coming back and playing well this year. Georgia Southern got their first third down conversion on this drive, trying to punch it in before halftime. Works in trouble, throws it away. Sideline as well, so good no call. Proper no call. Three wide receivers to the top of your screen for Wirtz on second and 10. Cuts back inside and is drugged down. Well, there it looks like they're going to call a penalty, but there was a hold. There is no foul for face mask. And Georgia Southern got timeout. And we're going to see the end Georgia of the year. Southern. This will be a 30 second timeout. Yeah, I mean, from there, it looks like he was on the shoulder. Good job by the officials. Now look on the left side of the screen, big 61, Drew Wilson in white. Definitely hold, you see that right arm hooked in there? He's holding them, and you heard the groan, audible. Georgia Southern, one for six on third down. Works feeling the pressure, heating up in the pocket. Malik Murray leaps up to make the catch. The former walk-on with a huge reception for Georgia Southern. Yeah, unbelievable catch by Malik Murray. Great concentration looking back. And great job by Shai Wirtz to avoid the pressure and get that ball downfield for the completion. Clock's moving, Southern on the move to J.D. King, pushing his way in, falls into the end zone. Georgia Southern, a PAT away from tying this. And Georgia Southern's one of those offenses that really, once they get momentum going, they're hard to stop. Again, excellent catch by Malik Murray to set that up. Good job by Wirt stepping up in the pocket, finding his receiver, and then you give it to the big back. Let him finish it off for the five-yard run, J.D. King. And that's the type of momentum you want as a team going in at halftime. Alex Rayner on to attempt the PAT. And it's good. We have got a tie ball game, 24 seconds left. A seven play, 54 yard drive for Georgia Southern. Yeah, and I tell you, Coastal defensively went after Shy Wirtz with a blitz. He was able to avoid the pressure, step up, and then has the arm strength, kind of falling back to get it up. And then what a job by Murray to just kind of look back, locate that ball back shoulder, go up, make the catch, and then you give it to your big 220 pound back, lower those shoulders, run behind the pads, and carry defenders into the end zone. And then, of course, he rocked out on the sideline a little bit because everyone's got a Great. Gimmick, gimmick or gadget, so they got a extra good effect. Maribel and Reese White are back. And Maribel calls for the fair catch. Those pads popping. And Coastal will take a knee here. And, and I like that call from Jamie Chabot. You're tied up at 14. Georgia Southern just had a good offensive uh, possession, tied this thing. You don't want to make any mistakes uh, with your back down towards your own end zone. So go to the end zone, go to the halftime, locker room, regroup, and we got a good ball game here. An excellent game on the surf turf. Coastal Carolina has a perfect record on the season. Will it stay that way? Tie ball game at the half. Let's get you to the studio with Kevin Connors. First time in school history, undefeated at 4-0, and Georgia Southern wants to try to change that. Kickoff will go to C.J. Marable, and he will take it. Tripped up around the 22-yard line. 
Jackie McCall, the redshirt freshman who has been a quarterback in those four games they've won this season out with a shoulder injury. So Fred Payton gets the nod, pitches out to CJ Marable. And Fred Payton has looked pretty, 162 yards, a couple of touchdowns today. Connects with Javon Hiley, who tries to cut back inside. We got a good one here. You don't want to miss any of this one. That first game in the Eastern Division of the Sun Belt for both of these teams. A pitch again to Marable, and he's taken down for a loss. And it was Reynard Ellis once again, the middle linebacker, just smelling it out. He's doing an excellent job of center. Fred Payton pulls it. Plenty of time to make a decision. Targeting highly. And the passing complete. Yeah, and he zoned right in. Third and long. Spins out of the tackle. Gets the first down and falls forward over the 45. 19-yard pickup for the Chanticleers. First and 10 from their own 48. Peyton rolls right, throws back left to Marable, who catches it. He is a redshirt freshman. Peyton out of the pistol with Reese White behind him. Pulls it away from White and may have lost a yard on the play. Chris Harris Jr. Is Two wide receivers stacked on the near side. Peyton almost intercepted by Renard. Interceptions this afternoon. Wesley Kennedy the third back for the Eagles. Calls for the fair catch. Makes it at the 15 yard line. Big stop for Jordan. And they're starting to do it more and more and it just makes them that much more dangerous. And give it to J.D. King. And we were talking to the offensive coordinator, Bob DeBess, about shy words. He said he's kind of like the security blanket. He's already proven that he can run this offense effectively. Get him the offense and let him go. Second and nine. Off play action for words connects to Malik Murray, who had a big catch in this. He'll put Murray in motion. Still falling forward is J.D. King. On first down, they go back to him. Gets back Wesley Kennedy the third in the backfield to Wirtz's right. He won't give it to him and throws it to the turf at the feet of... Wirtz has Kennedy with him. Two wide receivers to the top of your screen. That's Malik Murray in motion. Wirtz looking to the right and overthrows Emil Smith. Yeah, and Smith slipped coming out of his break. Teams having to punt on their opening drives here in the third quarter. <laughs> Javon Hiley is back for Coastal. It's going to roll. They'll let it bounce. How about that? A great punt from Anthony Beck, the third. And Coastal will start inside in zone five. Playing really good football. So they've taken it to heart, and they've really uh, came out this season and it, and it played, played well. Peyton's pass is incomplete. Yeah, we got to speak to a defensive end, C.J. Brewer, about that. And I kind of asked him, you know, how much does the team buy in to? So they've transitioned. They've seen, they've gone from FCS to FBS. And now, you know, really with a, with a chance to win the Sun Belt and, and, and make a historic season for Coastal Carolina. Coastal will hand it off. Not a ton of room to run. Teams last year for the Chanticleers. 
Peyton in trouble, runs it out of the end zone. Falls forward for the first down. That's twice now we've seen him bail out Coastal. And yeah, again, he has to do that. that he does a good job. Georgia Southern decides not to pull. For the Chanticleers, first and 10 now from the 15. That's Shermari Jones on the kick. This is CJ Marable. Just eaten up by Reynard Ellis. Well, it's either three wide receivers on the near side. And it's going to be a timeout for. So out of this timeout, it is third and four. Fred Payton throws it behind his intended target. And they won't be able to. Because of a play like that. Kennedy's back for Georgia Southern. Fields it at the 40, and it comes loose. Bounces right back into his hands. And the Coastal defense. All right, still looking for our first score of the third quarter. Justin Tomlin taking the snap in at quarterback there for Georgia Southern. So Tomlin has a couple of carries for 10 yards this season. Made seven appearances last year for Georgia Southern. He'll keep it and trudges forward for the first down and then a couple marked at the 39 injury against LSU. Caleb Hood in motion and they give it off to Kennedy. So not a good sign for Georgia Southern. Shy Works being helped off of the field. Off of the playing area, Justin Tomlin, they'll rely on him now. And he looks pretty sharp, connects with Caleb Hood. Yeah, a good quick release by Justin Tomlin. Puts it right on Hood. We've got King and Kennedy back there. Turns back to his right and overthrows the intended target, the tight end, Bo Johnson. And, and it was a great play call. Roll the quarterback to the left. Looks like he's going to run it. He drops back. You drag the tight end across away from the formation. They have that catch and pick up the first down. Just couldn't connect. Anthony Beck with the punt. This is Javon Hiley. They'll mark it at the 11. Yeah, great punt by Beck. All right, so here goes Coastal. No scores here in the third quarter after we were knotted at 14 at halftime. Fred Payton is flushed. And Javon. Payton gives it up to Marable. Yeah, just no running. I want to try to get him the ball. So we'll see here in a little bit over a quarter left if they can find him. Peyton looks his way, but tries to get it out to Sam Denmark, and it's dropped. Likely goes in motion. Marable will shift over to Peyton's right. He's looking for him. Actually looks to the further outside receiver. And it's Javon Hiley again with the sideline grab. And, and I like that. They pitch it back and reverse it to the other side of the field. Elves are now ranked for the first time. C.J. Marable. It's been Fred Payton out there now, and we saw Justin Tomlin come in for Georgia Southern after Shai Wirtz went off in the third quarter with an injury. Here goes Fred Payton, still keeping his eyes downfield as he picks up so far for Fred Payton. Most of that, as you said, coming here in the second half. A 
Draft play action. Hey, there's Isaiah Likely right through his hands. That might be the first time we've seen the ball thrown his way. I think it was, and it was, it was a little high. It would have been a good catch, and again, credit. Leap. Peyton going to the air again on second down. There's Marable coming out of the backfield. Met by Rashad Bird, who takes him to the ground. It's an athletic defense that flies at a football, but I like this check. Peyton immediately looks over to Mr. Third Down himself, Greg, Le Greg Latushko. Yeah, who else would you look for, right? Latushko. Been on third down. Marable gets his number called, looking for some room on the edge. Maybe gets forward. A Best two defensive yeah. players in the <laughs> NFL. And there's no question about it. We've seen some good defense here from Georgia Southern, especially here in the second half. Fred Payton almost picked off by a DB just flying in. It was Anthony Wilson. And the ball just... That's going to be a delay of game. He did not get it off, and they did not want to use a timeout. They were telling him, get this snap off, and delay he did. Delay game, offense, five-yard penalty, remain third down. I mean, they've already called. Fakes the handoff and tosses one up to the corner. He was looking for Javon Hylas, 42. Boots it up. No good. No good. We've seen one interception. He's also rushed for 31 yards. Pitches it out quickly to J.D. King. Cuts back inside and falls over the 30-yard line to the 31. That's the first time I think we saw the big man on the outside today. A little pitch. To Afraid to do it with J.D. King either. Dump it out to the near side, but the pass incomplete. Intended for Malik Murray. Yeah, try to get to Murray. And that's one of those balls. And that's kind of just like an extension of the run game. You just want to try to get it out there as quick as you can. Float it on a little bit. Murray can't come up with the ball. Third three. Southern on its own 31-yard line here on third down. Wirtz looking upfield, and the pass slips through the fingers of Wesley Kennedy. Yeah. Anthony Beck to punt. Javon Hiley back for the shot to clears. Ooh, and Coastal almost got a hand on it. It'll be fair caught at the 37-yard line. We haven't seen any scoring here in this second half. What's changed? You know, I just think the defenses are playing well. Confident in Fred Payton, and we can see why. Yeah. And it's a luxury to have a quarterback that can come off the bench with experience. I started six games last year. Coastal on the move. What a nice run. The hole, a crater in the middle of the. This time it's Marable. Pick up a four. We'll flip sides. And they pitch it to him. Nice lane to run. Get first half. They have 95 now. Peyton pulls it. C.J. Marable all by himself. 
find his running back and put it on him. Viscardi to attempt the extra point. And it's good. Coastal Carolina trying a 21 to 14 ball game. Under nine minutes to go here in Conway. And Georgia Southern will start things off at their own 11 thing. Here comes Georgia Southern. Wirtz didn't see anything upfield. Try to check it down to J.D. King and threw it at Second and 10. King is stopped by Coastal and going to eat. Works in trouble, trying to step up, nowhere to go. And I tell you, only 5,000 fans, that's what's allowed here. Considered a sell, got a little loud there on that. DJ Brewer, the leader on this defensive line. Watch out for him on offense too, by the way. He's got a touchdown catch this year. Highly fields it at the 45. Over midfield. Still on his feet. Javon Hiley. Here towards Coastal Carolina. Peyton gives it up to Reese White. Boom! Shot to clears in the end zone. So C.J. Maribel's got to be saying, man, I, it's just tough sledding for me. All of a sudden, you bring in Shamari Jones, a couple big runs, and now you hand it to Reese one by Reese Smith. Or, Second. excuse me, Reese White. Second touchdown this season for Reese White. Here's Biscardi. Knocks through that extra point. Coastal kill. This week by Andy Staples, and you know, they list him at 5'9", 290. He's probably more like... 5'8", so great story, and Willie Lampkin left guard, 6'1", Trey Carter, 6'1", the right guard, so smaller offensive line that gets after it. In this half, Georgia Southern has 40. There's J.D. King for the carry, takes it to the 29-yard line. Again tonight, we will see Michigan and Minnesota, first game of the season for these two Big Ten teams. Joe Milton making his first career start with a basically brand new offensive line as Wirtz carries it. First down for Georgia Southern. It's just it, what hasn't been in 2020 yeah. though. Wirtz taking his time and Coastal Carolina taking him down. Enoch McConzo. Yeah, and I thought that he was going to be offensive lineman, Caleb Kelly, for the sack. Oh, Wirtz in trouble again. Almost tripped up and steps out of bounds at the 38-9. Georgia Southern is 2 for 11 on third down. All pressure, all kinds of pressure in the pocket. And no, he was out of bounds yeah. when he grabbed that. Yeah, Spillum intercepted that. Forward on fourth down this afternoon. And that's why I'm glad I'm up here yeah. and not <laughs> down there. Shy Wirtz has J.D. King back there with him. Two wide receivers either side. No way, says Coastal Carolina. And just great pressure up front. And I believe it was Jeffrey Gunter, right? 94. First ranked win in Coastal history. And then they get their first ranking. They've responded pretty well so far. Shamari Jones, it's been his fourth quarter. Good job. They stick to the ground with Marable. 
pickup of three. Do you think it plays in any that Coastal Carolina played 10 days ago? They had three extra days of rest. Yeah, I mean, I think that helps out a lot. It dominates the barnyard. With his brains. Love the Chanticleer. Fred Payton has been pretty solid for Coastal today, getting the start over Grayson McCall, who's out with an injury. Oh, and no room to run. Fred Payton tucks it and runs inside the 15 he goes. And I love the call. It's a safe call. It's a quarterback draw. If he breaks through and gets the first down, great. If not, clock's still running. They have no Guess what? They're going to go for it on fourth down. They're going to say, Massimo, you did your work last week. Rest. We're going to try to get a first down here and just be able to take knees and end this game. Peyton rolling on fourth down. Greg Latushko is there. Away from the referee, just get the first down where there's no question about it. Shy Works will have to work quickly. Only 3.15 to go in this ball game, down a couple of scores. Out to the flat they go, and Wesley Kennedy powers forward through for a first down. Interesting decision, though, by Jamie. They're going to have a false start. And that'll incur a 10-second runoff because the clock was first running. Start, offense, number 50. Five-yard penalty remain first down. In the half. Oh, you're right. I am wrong. Getting ahead of myself. Words on the move. Nowhere to go, even as he rolls out. And again, back to the clock that I just bungled. He runs out of bounds, but it, the clock will reset and start because it's not under two minutes. So clock's going to still running. So again, if you're Coastal Carolina, keep him in front of you. No big plays over the top. Again, Georgia Southern has no timeouts. Down the field, shot, and it's picked off to Jordan Strong with the INT. The old tip drill. The Jordan Strong in the right. Holding on the defense. 10 yards from the spotted foul. First and 10. If you're going to go in, you go all in. And so the math isn't quite there with 2.16 left, so I would imagine they will run a play here, and then we will see knees. Send it up the middle, and Georgia Southern ready for it. What do you think of Fred Payton today getting the start with Grayson McCall out? I thought he did exactly. We do expect to see Grayson McCall come back for this Coastal Carolina team. This is Shermari Jones thrown down at the line of scrimmage. And there's, I believe that was Kendrick Duncan Jr. Personal foul on the defense, face mask, number 27. Half the distance, automatic, first down. It's time now for the AT&T 5. Punt return, but. Yeah, he had a 60 yard punt return for a touchdown in the first quarter. Coastal using all the time they can. They'll take a knee here. You know, a lot of people wondered is in for Coastal Carolina. And Fred Payton takes that final knee. For the first time, Coastal Carolina is 3-0 in the Sun Belt. And a two-game lead, if I'm not mistaken, in the East, which is huge. Yeah, this is their first East game of the season. They get the win, and the first time in two meetings, well, in the last two meetings, they've been able to beat Georgia Southern. Coastal Carolina, so many different weapons for this Well, group. and I like the adjustments, right? 14, 14 and halftime, pretty much a stalemate. They came out, they got away kind of from zone read, zone option. They finally got some movement up front, got some inside runs there. They kind of opened things up, and they did a nice job and pulled away, and defense played exceptional. Yeah, for Georgia Southern, they dropped to three and two overall, one and two in the Sun Belt. Their next game will be Thursday against South Alabama, a quick week for them. Meanwhile, Coastal Carolina will take on Georgia State a week from today.
but history keeps on being made for Coastal Carolina, the number 25 team in the nation. They are undefeated, a perfect 5-0 start for the Shawnee Clears in 2020.